Well, this tonight is being described as a pet owner's nightmare. A family in Framingham let their cat outside for his usual nightly walk around the neighborhood. But they would never see him again. That's because a new neighbor found him and took him to the MSPCA. Shortly afterwards, he was euthanized. Tonight, the family is demanding answers. Paul Burton has the story, all new at 6. By the time you even realize your cat's missing, he's already dead, it just seems like something's not right with the system. Laura and Alan Grome say their beloved cat Wishbone has been part of their family for 14 years. Wishbone was well known to freely roam the neighborhood. He was well loved and loved his family. Whenever little Nicole was sick, Wishbone was there. When I came home from the hospital, Wishbone was, he would never leave my side. Not having him is really, it's like I'm missing a part of me almost. Last Wednesday, Wishbone went missing. For two days, the family searched. That's when Laura was told a new neighbor found Wishbone wandering in her driveway and decided to take him to the MSPCA in Boston because she thought he was a stray. Don't take someone's beloved pet and take it into the inner city 20 miles away and expect them to be able to have a chance to get their pet back. The MSPCA says they cared for Wishbone for two and a half days, but because Wishbone had no identification and was ill and no one came forth to claim him, they decided to euthanize him. His health care needs were so advanced we wouldn't be able to meet them long term in the animal shelter. We made the decision to humanely euthanize him. It's a terrible situation. It's a situation in which we did the best we could. This is a loved family pet and they're in animal hospital. Don't tell me you can't handle a diabetic animal for at least a week and make an attempt to call the town where they came from. Chris and Nicole decided to bury their beloved cat in the backyard. I mean, he's been around for 14 years. Dodge cars, dodge coyotes. He's just a fighter and, and well loved. He's just got a great temperament. Everybody loves his cat. In Framingham, I'm Paul Burton, WBZ News. And the MSPCA says it is critical for people to make sure that their pets have the proper identification so that they can contact the family. In some cases, the MSPCA says if the animal is old or has serious complications, they have no choice but to make the painful decision to put the animal down because it's too sick to be put up for adoption. Paula?